Hello and welcome to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch how to set up an iSCSI SAN using Windows Server for VMware EXSI host. I offered you an iSCSI SAN network using Windows Server and you, you are here to see how it works. So what is a SAN? A SAN is a network that connects servers to dedicated storage devices using protocols like fiber channel or iSCSI. This block storage devices then make the exposed storage to the application as locally attached hard disk drives. Microsoft Software iSCSI Target features offer you a endless test and development options, especially for clustering, live migration, SAN transfer, etc. Here the topology, a Windows server with added iSCSI Target functionality, VMware EXSI running iSCSI software adapter. In this way, it can connect to the iSCSI target over normal Ethernet networks. Now let us watch the demo. Get ready with a Windows Server 2008 or later. Here I have Windows Server 2012 standard uh, version. From the server manager you can see the available disks here. There is two free disks available. So let us install the iSCSI target role now. Click next, next, continue. Under the file and storage services, you can see iSCSI target server option. Select, click add features, then continue. Okay, now the installation is completed. So bring uh, both disk online now. Now format and create a new volume on this disk. Once the disk uh, preparation complete, we will move to uh, vSphere client. Here, click storage adapter and add a software iSCSI adapter. You can see there is two network adapters. One is for the management v switch, and other one VMNIC one we will use as a iSCSI, uh, as a dedicated one for iSCSI. Go to networking, click add networking, select VM kernel, click next, and select VMNIC. So this will be dedicated for iSCSI communication. Click next. Enter the IP address here. Now click uh, storage adapters. Right click and take properties. Network configuration. Add VMNIC one now. The second one here. Click OK. And select dynamic discovery. Here you can see there is two IP address, two dot one fifty and one dot one fifty. These two are the IP address of iSCSI target here, Windows Server IP address. Okay. 
there is no use because we didn't configure the other side so let us go back to windows server now here create a iSCSI virtual disk select one of the drive here i choose 29.8 gb give a virtual disk name the maximum size we can go for is 29.8 click a new iSCSI target target name here here add the IP address of EXSI host click next create now So the disk is ready. Now go back to vSphere client. Rescan the software iSCSI adapter. You can see the progress. Okay, the rescan has completed and it detected the new drive. So let us go to storage, add storage, continue, you can see the new disk 29 GB, nest, and you can enter a new dust data, uh, data store name for this uh, LAN, click nest, finish. Okay, now the new data store is ready. You can check the status of uh, this LAN from server manager also. So that's all. Thanks for watching this video. For more, visit niasitpro.com.